Okay, so quite simply what we want to do now then is once we hit an individual brick, go ahead and increment our score. Now, just to kind of give you a reminder as to what we did earlier, when we set everything up, we set this state just in here with our score, our level and our lives, which we know that we can access if we just remind ourselves with this game global score. Now, if we do this inside of the update method, so if we update any of these values in here, of course, because we're repainting the canvas on here, that's going to go ahead and update the text for us because we've changed that specific value. Now, of course, when we go ahead and hit a brick, the first thing that we're going to want to do is say this game global score plus 10 now or plus equals 10 so we can increment it now uh, we're not going ahead and resetting the score text at the moment so if we just give this a refresh and click notice that that's not doing anything it is incrementing the score but because we're doing this uh, setting up of our text just here outside of our update method it's not going ahead and updating now you could say well why don't we just move the creation of the text over to the update method which we have just here so we could go ahead and move that over but the only issue with that is we don't want to keep repainting the text we only want to update certain parts of it so what we can do is down here after we've incremented the score we can say this score text equals or dot text in here equals and then we can just repaint on the score re-giving the score that's going to go ahead and actually update that so we can say this game global score now we need to make sure that we've assigned this to score text. So if we just come up to here, it looks like we didn't do this. So let's go ahead and say this score text equals this. So we can reference that. This lives text equals this. And we'll do the same for our level text as well. Just so we have a reference to each of them and we can go ahead and access and update them. So now that we're doing this inside of our update method effectively because we are calling ball hit brick from inside of there what's going to happen is when I go ahead and hit one that's going to go ahead and increment the score and it's going to go ahead and repaint the parts that need to be painted e.g. the text inside of here so there we go that is pretty much it how we keep track of our score and a little bit of information about how that works